welcome to another edition of the House Whisperer Show on WWDB Talk 860 and WWDBAM.com. I'm Barry Reisman, and Jack Milne is here, who knows your house from the roof to the basement and everything in between. He's a professional home inspector, and he is the man to talk to and the man to listen to. Jack, how you doing today? I'm great, Barry, and, you know, here it is, the Ides of March. Yeah, I can't believe it. I remember that from, oh, God, uh, geography class, I think in fifth grade when good old Julius Caesar took the plunge. Yeah, yeah. I I think I I got that wrong, that question wrong in one of my tests. (laughs) In more ways than one, oh, two, Brutus. But uh, the segment, of course, is where every house has a story. But today's topic is called Spring Fling. The Ides of March, are you ready? So before we kick in it again, I always like to thank my sponsors because without them I wouldn't have the benefit of being able to chat with you on a weekly basis. So let's start with Bucksmont Inspections, Rob Bowie, fantastic with the uh, on-site sewage evaluations as well as design and repair. So um, today we're going to do, let's do, uh, what do they call those things on the computer? Uh, Websites, there you go. So, uh, Rob is BucksmontInspections.com. Burrow exterminating. Uh, again, folks, keep an eye out for those little critters with wings. They're called termites, carpenter bees, and carpenter ants. As things warm up and those trees start to truly blossom, carpenter ants are those big ones. They're about a quarter of an inch long, and, boy, they do eat wood as, as, as badly as termites. So if you need their help... Uh, go ahead and reach out to them at burrowexterminating.com. Uh, uh, BrainFlushGear.com, uh, it is the season for uh, unique wear. Uh, so you can reach them at contact at BrainFlushGear.com. Uh, of course, Pest Blaster. Uh, they work with us as doing radon testing, mold testing, wood-destroying insect evaluations, as well as pest control. So, again, anything in the Bucks, Montgomery areas, uh, New Jersey, um, Philadelphia as well, uh, reach out to them at pestblaster.com. And, of course, Tri-County Inspection Company, extremely proud of, uh, of the business I run. Um, we are now actually in 15 counties, uh, so I ask that you reach out to us at tcinspect.com. Five home inspectors, all ASHE certified, all Pennsylvania compliant, and New Jersey licensed. So if you really want to hire the best, reach out to us, and we'll help you through that that buying process. So the email box today, I have Jason from New Hope. He goes, uh, I heard your show a few weeks ago where the topic was what buyers want. My partner and I listened to the show and and, uh, presented uh, our property is per your ideas, and I have to say uh, we have an agreement of sale. Although the show focused on buyers, we took your advice too. We're going to call you for our own inspection. So, Jason, thanks. We did actually meet last week, and, and uh, you both chose a beautiful home. Uh, I wish you both the best. Uh, but for all emails, you know, please email me at the Show at gmail.com, or please visit previous shows with over 80 topics at thehousewhispershow.com. Of course, podcast all week at www.dbam.com. So, again, thanks to Barry and WWDB for the rebroadcast on Saturdays. That's uh, greatly appreciated for me. So, on to today's topic, Spring Fling, the Ides of March, Are You Ready? So, I'm, I'm hoping that winter is about over, uh, but, you know, the, some ugly visits are still possible. But I'm an optimist, so let's say it's done. So let's, let's do the initial look around and see what wrath the past winter did uh, to your home. And I ask that you check the following. First off, look at gutters and downspouts. If you find that the old spikes have started to pull the gutter away from the fascia board, then that, they now make these new, what we call hidden hangers, that uh, utilize a hex head type screw and screw literally into the fascia board. They're a lot stronger and they stay intact. I know I've seen a ton of gutters over the past few weeks because of all the ice damming issues and icicles, etc., that are literally falling off the fascia board. So. 
And that's probably one of the first things I would focus on, but also make sure that the gutters are properly pitched towards their outlet tubes and for the downspouts. So uh, are your downspouts properly extended? Again, the, 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 the rule is at least three to five feet away from the foundation wall. And while you're up there, how clean are the gutters? Um, I'm starting to see the seed pods for maples uh, starting to form on branches. And before you know it, you're going to have wing dings and everything else. Uh, so before you know it, the gutters are going to be blocked. So I'm going to ask that you look into a type of gutter guard called leaf relief. Yeah, folks, leaf relief. It's a very good type of gutter guard system. It doesn't fall out and land in your gardens. Uh, they usually have to be installed by a professional gutter person. Um, you can reach out to Ivan Gomez. Uh, if you need his number, please email me. He's at a Blue Bell Gomez Roofing. Uh, he was the gentleman who put them on my home. And I can tell you, folks, they work. Even with this past winter, I had no issues with icicles. So um, if you live within the canopy of trees, this is something that you truly need to consider. And then this way you don't have to clean your gutters out anymore. And please, I find gutter helmet or other covered gutter systems don't work as well as advertised, and plus very pricey. The next thing I'm going to do is have you check your shrubs, trees, branches, and, and remove or prune back any of those trees or shrubs as needed and especially paying particular attention from your utilities, um, you know, be they the electrical uh, overhead service, uh, your gas utilities, air conditioning, condensing unit, et cetera. If, um, with, with as much snow and heavy branches that we have had this past winter, uh, if you are finding branches that are resting on your overhead service, the, the utility companies do not, and I'm going to emphasize this, do not want you pruning them away. Uh, they will do it for you at no charge. Uh, so, uh, you know, Jersey or Pennsylvania, please, if, if you have to reach out to your public utilities, please do so, and they'll send out the appropriate crews. Uh, look at your roof. If you did have ice damming or that small roof leak, you know, I would suggest that you quote, get quotes now because roofing contractors get real busy come April and May. So personally, I did my roof in 2013, uh, and, 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 you know, January. Everyone thinks, you. Well, why would you put a roof on in January? Well, because I can get my roofing contractor out, and I, can, and I usually get better costs, end quotes, for the materials as well as for the labor in the, end quote, off-season, okay? So it's going to be difficult come April or May to get a roofer uh, at a, um, on a short notice. So... If you know you need a roof, um, I suggest that you look into getting quotes now. And as roofers can only hold their estimates for 30 days because the cost of shingles being an asphalt derivative product has gone up. So um, check your grading around your home. Uh, with a lot of the snow and the water that we've had, uh, I'm going to ask you to do some regrading, okay, because you want to add topsoil with a clay mix if you have to, because the last thing you want to get your house is water. And I don't care if you're on a slab or you have a finished basement. Both are just as critical. And just make sure, though, that you don't put your topsoil above your siding, be it wood or vinyl or aluminum. It doesn't matter. Wood-destroying insects are going to be found in your soils. So I always tell my clients maintain at least a 2- to a 3-inch gap at minimum between the soil and the siding. And like any new topsoil, think of it like coffee. Okay, what's going to happen is it's going to settle down. So sometimes you do have to be artificially high, but at the end of the day, you want a good, positive grades away from your home. So, uh, Barry, why don't we take a break at this point, okay? Good idea, okay. Sponsors. And then when we come back, I've got a whole other list of things to go through. I have to talk to my landscaper about what you just said because he piles the, the mulch up way too high. And, I, and you, you're saying the bugs and everything, uh, I have to tell him uh, less mulch, lower, and keep, me, keep the bugs out of the house, right? And Barry, that's so important too because what is mulch? Mulch is just decaying wood. So that was yeah. a very good point that you brought up, and I appreciate that. Yeah, well, we're going to come back. We're going to talk more. We've got Jack Milne here, the house whisperer. 
at WWDB, and Jack will be back in just a minute. Oro Exterminating has been specializing in wood destroying insect inspection and control for over 40 years, serving Philadelphia and the surrounding counties. All inspectors are state certified and ensure providing their clients with professional inspections and treatments. Oro not only performs conventional termite treatments, but also handles special services like historic buildings and homes with wells, creeks, or ponds. The client is assured that all treatments will be performed safely when you hire Boro to do the work. They also provide radon testing in their service area. Boro's full-time office staff is available to help you schedule an appointment. Just call 610-586-5640 or send an email request to boroinspects at verizon.net. That's 610-586-5640 or email at boroughinspects at verizon.net. Specially created t-shirts by BrainFlushGear.com offer the extreme sports enthusiast an opportunity to have a clothing line available that suits their sport. BrainFlushGear.com understands that when we get the moment where we can jump on our motorcycles, wave runners, surfboards, snowmobiles, or skateboards, it can be priceless. They offer custom artwork including silk screening, transfers, and embroidery. Speak to one of their consultants today and they'll help you create your own brain flush visit brainflushgear.com or email them at contact at brainflushgear.com for your septic inspection and testing needs please consider bucks mod inspections they've been serving the bucks and montgomery county areas for over 15 years as members of the Pennsylvania Septage Management Association, the Pennsylvania Association of Sewage Enforcement Officers, and the Pennsylvania Association for Professional Soil Scientists, Bucksmont Inspections can inspect your existing septic system or test for your new septic system placement. Please call Rob Bowie at 215-669-4213 and say you heard their ad on the House Whisperer Show. As the summer months quickly arrive and the temperatures gradually rise, so do the odds of all those filthy and unwanted critters invading your home like rodents, roaches, termites, and flies. Oh, my. This summer, if you want to feel safe and secure from a possible creeping, crawling disaster, do yourself a favor and call the exterminating experts at Pest Blaster for all your pest control needs, including tests for radon and mold. Please visit PestBlaster.com and you'll be sold. 215-295-5555. Tri-County Inspection Company has been providing professional home inspections, commercial inspections, and historic property evaluations for over 25 years. Tri-County Inspection Company covers 13 counties, serving both New Jersey and Pennsylvania. They've performed inspections for over 70,000 clients and are members of the American Society of Home Inspectors, as well as the Pennsylvania Home Inspectors Coalition. They are licensed in both Philadelphia and New Jersey. For all of your real estate transactions, Transactions. Call Tri-County Inspections at 215-295-2030. For their New Jersey clientele, call 856-853-4224. In PA, call 215-295-2030. In New Jersey, 856-853-4224. And we are back with Jack. Jack Mill, the house whisperer, right here at WWDB. Always with good advice, lots of great information. If you miss if you miss a minute of it, you don't have to miss anything because it's on a podcast right here at WWDBAM.com. And you can go to Jack Mill's website and you can hear the podcast on his website too. Uh, and the the information that we get on this program is invaluable you can't you can't buy it you can't pay for it you're getting it from a real expert and jack uh let what what's what's in store for part two of the show today well barry thank you again today's topic is spring fling the ides of march are you ready so we spent enough time this winter either plowing our driveway shoveling our driveway but now 
now the snow is gone, take a good look at your driveway. Uh, how many potholes have we hit or avoided? And this has been a brutal winter for asphalt. And, it, and believe me, we, it paid its price. And within uh, the next four to six weeks, when, with weather conditions changing, I would suggest that you have it resealed if it's real bad, or if need to, repave it with at least one inch of asphalt. But when they repave, folks, keep in mind that part of that quote should be the cutting back of at least 12 inches from your garage apron, your public walkways, private walkways, and entrances to your driveway. Because this way it allows the new material to bond to, do, to dissimilar products. If you can't remember the last time that you sealed your driveway, I, I guess it's time, isn't it? But the ceiling keeps the UV rays off the asphalt um, and will keep your driveway uh, in, in, in better condition. So May, April or May is a better time to do your driveway than March. But again, today's show is getting you prepared. Um, branches uh, just grow tremendously on our trees, especially early spring. So keep an eye on them and keep them off your roof. Uh, and away from your house. Um, again, uh, we talked on this briefly last week. Be sure that you renew your termite contract for annual review. March and April is when termites uh, tend to swarm because as the water table rises due to the rains that we're going to have, the bugs uh, look uh, to rebuild their colonies in dry locations, which becomes your home. Uh, and from what I understand through talking with Pest Blaster and Burrow, uh, a termite can eat up to 12 inches of wood a year uh, behind your drywall. Wow. So this is something that you definitely don't want to take for granted and, and pay whatever that service contract is. It's well worth it. My home I've had to have treated twice since my initial treatment 23 years ago. So it didn't cost me anything, but even the home inspector's house uh, can get termites back. Um, clean and refresh your landscape equipment. Uh, I know it's not quite time to cut the lawn, but this is the time to do it. Change your oil. Replace the spark plug. Add a new blade if you need to. Make sure that you clean the deck you know, from old uh, grass clumps because uh, the metal will actually corrode. So it doesn't hurt to fire up the equipment now because it allows time to make repairs or replacement if you need to. You don't want to be in the midst of long cutting season and your machine doesn't work. This one's a, the next one's a specialty for me. Any old cars, and I can't call them old cars, but or motorcycles, you know, clean the family relics off them and fire them up. Move all the kids' stuff out of the way, inflate the tires, check the oil, you know, pray the gas didn't turn into turpentine and run them well. Uh, just don't get any tickets on my behalf. Okay. <laughs> Keep that uh, in mind. <laughs> but on behalf of the House Whisperer, you know, but I can't tell you, uh, my machines are already up and running because I am psyched for spring. Um, next, get ready to prepare your lawn. You should aerate, okay? That's, it looks like plugs. It looks like goose droppings, uh, seed and lime. Uh, and you know what? Do that now, Okay. It can take several weeks, as we all know, for grass to be established, but of course the advertisers don't tell us that. But it is time to prepare the lawns. And I do advise all my owners to allow the grass to grow to three to three and a half inches. Everyone thinks that they want to live on a golf course. And believe me, I just read something the other day where the golf courses in California, even though they're in the middle of a drought, use a million gallons of water a day wow a day oh and that's while it's still temperate out which is usually three to four times what a normal golf course is, course uses but i thought that number was fascinating but the thicker you keep the lawn the healthier it is and the less weeds that grow so anyone who's cutting an inch or less out there you're going to burn your burn your lawn and the fertilizer is going to burn your grassy too. You're more prone to little critters that uh, work through your lawns the shorter it is. So three inches at a minimum, three and a half is preferred. Um, got gas? Consider a natural gas grill. 
any plumber can run your gas line uh, to your deck or to your patio. But as I always tell my clients, keep it away from your vinyl siding because uh, it will absolutely melt. Uh, most of today's gas grills have a 10-foot leash, so they may, the, the plumber may put the gas um, isolation valve near your foundation wall. Uh, but again, make sure that you can uh, keep the grill well away from your home. But if you have like a porch overhang, make sure that you can take full advantage of that too in case you are grilling those wings um, uh, in the rain. So it's a nice way to keep yourself protected. Any spring construction projects, talk about them now with your significant other because from the time that you run through your, your discussions, you negotiate over a couple bottles of wine, which believe me, guys and ladies, you're both going to need by the time that you come to agreement, and choosing your contractor to implement the job of your choice, this can take several months. So if you're planning to do that, uh, that special construction that you want to have done by June, well, you better start now because one of my contractors – who I'm going to put on the air probably within the next few weeks, is already booking up for April and May. And so March is closed, okay? So he's booking for April and May. Before you know it, it's going to be June. So if you're thinking patios, porch roofs, um, anything that requires a permit, remember the permit process can take a couple weeks too. So uh, don't, don't wait to the last minute, otherwise you're going to be waiting till last year. So... Inside work, if you're thinking about that, don't do it now. Do it in October, okay? Um, and if you plan in October, uh, well, it's, by now, hopefully, uh, you're, you're getting your contractor to knock on your door. And keep in mind, the cost can vary according to the season. For example, if you want to insulate your home, which you should do, do it now, okay, because you don't want to do it in August, because you're going to be paying a mechanic to go up there and uh, be overly heated. And believe me, they do get battle pay. So if you're thinking of insulating for this coming summer, I ask that you reach out now to your insulation contractor and be prepared. Pay the lower cost now rather than the higher cost later. And we've all been nabbed with our uh, electrical costs and gas costs uh, have skyrocketed. Uh, with this past winter, and believe me, I'm ready to do an episode on that maybe next week. So, um, so if you're going to get your house ready for sale, again, do it now. Uh, please, you know, donate any clutter or personal possessions, and either give your stuff to your kids if they need it, uh, or um, you know, parents if the kids don't want it, donate it to a worthy cause. Uh, be it the Salvation Army, AMVETS, Purple Heart. There's so many good organizations uh, that, can, that can use good possessions because spring is by far the best market for either selling or buying a home, and you must be prepared. I can't emphasize that enough. List with a professional realtor. Uh, buy with the, the same quality realtor and, and be prepared to do your homework. Uh, in regards to location, schools, jobs, access to everyday needs, uh, be it the grocery store or the local gas station like I need. Needs will vary between buyers and sellers, so you have to be ready uh, to move forward. So spring is in the air. Uh, this, to me, is always the best part of our four seasons. It offers new beginnings. It offers renewals. It offers a fresh start. And baseball is around the corner. Uh, so what could be better? Uh, you, you're getting me in a good mood already. Well, Barry, you know, one thing I like about the area of which we reside is we get all four seasons. Yeah, we do. Uh, spring has been kind of lacking over the last few years. Uh, but I always find that just when you've just had enough, thank God Mother Nature kind of takes over and says, Let's move everybody forward. You you just cover so many fascinating topics. Uh, you, you must have such a wealth of knowledge from what you do every day. And, and uh, we're so grateful that you share with our listeners. And uh, as I mentioned before, some of them are just a matter of convenience and inconvenience. But some of the stuff you talk about literally can be life-saving. 
Well, that's well, that's why I think it's critical for everyone to get a home inspection. Um, and it's not just to, to, to promote what I do for a living, but it's such a strong education uh, to understand how your house works. And, you know, over the past 30 years, I've done inspections for people who have lived within their homes for 15 to 20 years and, and, and want, want to just gain knowledge as to life expectancy, uh, what, how should they plan for the near future, the far future, and how the equipment actually truly works. So any home can, ha- can be inspected. And again, it's not just for resale purposes. It's, it's really to gain a better understanding as to how your house works. And that's why, again, uh, you know, the motto of this show is where every house has a story. Well, good advice, Jack. And with that, we are out of time. Well, great, Barry. I know these segments do go quick. So, uh, again, within the next few weeks, I'm going to have my general contractor on the air. Great. Uh, and, uh, and I do want to talk about what happened with our electric bills uh, uh, and yeah. gas bills over this past uh, brutal winter that hopefully is now being. I don't know if I want to hear about it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Jack Milne, uh, you, you, you're always fascinating. And let me invite everybody to tune in again next week for another edition of the House Whisperer Show with professional home inspector Jack Milne. And to listen to previous programs, or if you have any questions, visit thehousewhisperershow.com. Jack, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you, Barry, and I'll see you next week. Okay. A house is a very, very, very fine house With two cats in the yard Life used to 